All right, the Kentucky Wildcats are here. The players are coming up in just a few moments. Coach, if you could, uh, some opening thoughts about the win in the first round tonight. Um, you know, our defense um, made it difficult. Uh, I told uh, Coach uh, Joe that, um, you know, what a year they had, winning their tournament, winning their league. That is so hard, um, especially when everything rides on that one game. Um, and he's done a, 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 you know, just turning it around. But I, I'll tell you what was special. I went to get a pizza today. You won't believe that. And a guy comes up to me and said, um, I used to coach at Abilene Christian. And coach asked me to come on the trip. And he's an older gentleman. I, I apologize, I didn't catch the name. But I told Joe before, I said, that's more impressive to me than anything. I said, too many in our profession forget where this all started and the guys that came before us who made the path for our families to be able to do what we're doing and be paid obscenely. And it was been guys like that. Um, so I told Joe that of all that's happened, that impressed me more. Coach, thank you. Let's get some questions for the players. We'll get them out, and we'll get some questions for the coach coming up in just a few moments. If you have a question for some of the players, raise your hand, and we'll get a mic to you. Yes, sir, on the left. Yep. For Reed, Reed, you waited five years for this moment. I'm just curious what it felt like. <laughs> it felt good, like you said. Uh, it's been a long time. This has always been a dream of mine, playing college basketball, is to be in the tournament and advance deep in it. So it's just the first step. Uh, I'm glad I can just enjoy it with my teammates. Questions for the players? We'll knock those out early here. Raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you. All right, uh, Gene, right here on the set, third row on the right. Yes. I'm curious, Tyler, uh, since you have a potential matchup on Saturday, no, no, certainly not a given with Wofford, have you heard much about Fletcher McGee just, just because of his shooting prowess and I mean, uh, 500 threes over a career is just obscene? Yeah, uh, I've watched his highlights. I heard he's a uh, very good shooter, so I think it'll be a good matchup, but both teams that we potentially play are really good, so we're just going to have to prepare for whoever we play. As, as, as a follow-up to that, follow up here. Follow up, hold on, Gene. As, Go ahead. As a follow-up to that, uh, how do you feel like your team does when you have, you know, the, the occasion to defend somebody who's really proficient from three-point range? Uh, I think if we just stick to our assignments and whatever the, you know, the game plan that the coaches give us, as long as we stick to our assignments, I think we should be fine. Final couple of minutes with the players here. Questions for the players. Yes, here on the far left. Over here. Yes, sir. Just uh, in a game like this, what keeps you guys motivated to, uh, you know, keep the pressure on throughout the entire time? Maybe, uh, Keldon, you can talk about that. What? Can I say something? <laughs> Coach, go he ahead. He didn't keep the pressure on. He could tell why the rest of the guys did, but he didn't quite keep. What? <laughs> um... Just knowing Coach Cow is uh, going to stay on us regardless. Um, regardless of the score, if we're up 20, 30, or even if it's a close game, uh, we miss the assignment. He's going to be all over. So, um. Not miss shot. How about you break down defensively, don't grab a <laughs> rebound, throw the ball to the wrong guy on the other team. That, yes, I'm going to – you miss plenty of shots, and I don't say anything, so don't say that. <laughs> you even say shots. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, you're right. I thought he said missed a shot. <laughs> uh, on the right side here, questions for the players, yes. Yeah, this question is for Reed. Reed, what was it like not having PJ in there today? Uh, obviously, it's tough not having PJ with us. Uh, he makes our team better all season. I feel like we play off of each other really well, but I feel like with my injury a couple of weeks back, guys had to step up and, and fit into different roles and, and really just build their confidence. So unfortunately, he's out. And we're, we're happy to have him back when he gets healthy and all that. But we had guys build their confidence over the last couple of weeks with me being out. So I thought it was good. Guys stepped up and we were able to play good minutes. Final question for the players. Any other questions? Uh, why are you here in the second row? This will, be, this will be the last one for the players. OK, so Tyler, coming into the season, there were concerns about like your defense and stuff, but since then you've made major strides throughout the season. What have you done to improve that, and what's the next step in your development? Uh, I think the coach has just been on me since day one. Um, 
just in practice every day. Um, my teammates pushed me to be better defensively, so just continue to get better every day. Guys, thank you very much. Congratulations on the first round win. We'll continue with yeah, Coach yeah. Calipari. Questions for the coach. We'll start here on the third row in the aisle, please. John, <clears throat> John can you elaborate a little on PJ's uh, condition and availability going forward? Well, first of all, the, the option was a boot or the cast. The cast would speed up the healing. So we said, put the cast on. Um, whether they'll take it off tomorrow to check it, I don't know. If they don't, he won't play Saturday. And then they'll probably try to take it off Tuesday or Wednesday of next week to see how his foot feels. Everything, the, everything was negative as far as the x-rays. Um, but they just want, it was a sprained foot. So they just want to keep it calm. And so that's what it is. Back left. Yeah, Coach, before the game, you talked about ACU being a good three-point shooting team, 40%. Uh, tonight, you hold them to about 22%. Is that a victory in your game plan tonight? Well, the, the one that we were worried about, the two guys were 5 and 15. And when you look, um, um, my man pulled up. He went one for nine. And there were a couple open. He, after we really guarded, he took some tough ones. He missed ones that you all said he never misses that. But it's hard when you got long players. And then their center, uh, Hayden, went two for six. And we left him like twice. And he missed a couple open ones. But, you know, we are, uh, we're a team that tries to get you to drive because we can block shots. We want you to come to the rim. We don't want you just shooting threes. Third row in the aisle here, please. And we'll go across the aisle next. Well, John, you're down one big already. Uh, what, what goes through your mind when you see uh, Nick get undercut and go down? Well, the two practices we had, including the practice down here, very little contact. Mainly because if we get another guy hurt, you know, our staff is going to have to start playing. So you just say, we got to do conditioning, we got to do individuals, we got to script five on oh, we got it, but you can't really go at it. So when Nick went down, that's why I said, move your arm around. He did. I said, you're all right. Let's go rub some dirt in it. Let's get going. Let's go. But it, yeah, it's, it's a, we're down to, you know, seven, eight guys and the, you know, it's, it makes it hard. Time for a few more. Let's go here on the right side and then guys, to the aisle next. You guys win the battle of the glass tonight, 44 to 17. How happy were you with that stat line? Well, we talked about it. We thought we had an advantage there. Uh, mainly because of our size and uh, Reed's strength. Um, and uh, we, it was one of the things we said, you know, if we're going to beat these guys, our rebounding's got to be really, you know, we got to separate from them in that. So I thought we did it. Two more. Let's go in the aisle both ways. Uh, Coach, just in a game like this, how important was your start to never really let ACU feel like they were in it and, and to kind of get on them early? In this tournament, it's really important. What happens... When teams are desperate, they'll do stuff they don't usually do. Um, and if you let a team hang around, something stupid, crazy, like what just happened can happen. And um, But I'll tell you, after the first game, you know, every even I, somebody told me almost every game today was like a hard game, hard fought game. I don't really watch the game. So, um, and I expected this to be some of that unless we got to a good start, which we did. And we got out of the gate really guarding and blocking shots and, you know, did a pretty good job and shot a high percentage. Final question on the left, Coach. Coach Cal, um, Seton Hall and Wofford are playing right now. So what do you feel about a potential rematch with Seton Hall? And what will you and your team do differently to get a different outcome this time? Um, well, if PJ doesn't play, we got, you know, we'll have work to do with either team. Um, and, and let me tell you, there's no given that Seton Hall or Walford, they're, they're both like, Seton Hall already beat us. And, uh, you know, they, you, you talk about a well coached team of veterans that, you know, just marched through that league. And that league, when you talk about Greensboro, we played Greensboro. You know, you, they had like four teams in that league that could beat anybody in the country. And so, um, 
We know how good that team is too. We're, I'll go back and watch this game, this game tape, and I'll wait to see who's going to win, and then I'll start watching tape on that team. Coach, thank you very much. Thanks. Congrats. Coming up in just a few moments, Abilene Christian, Coach Golding, and uh, three players, Franklin, Lewis, and Farquhar, are scheduled to join us. Thank you. Gentlemen from Abilene Christian are with us, Jalen Franklin and Jaron Lewis and Coach Golding making his way up right now. Uh, Coach, if you could, just some opening thoughts about this game tonight here in Jacksonville. Yeah, Kentucky is all that. You know, they're really, really good. Uh, it's the best team we've played uh, this year, uh, them at Texas Tech. We wish them the best of luck. I'm proud of our guys. They didn't quit. Uh, they represented our university and our city in a first-class manner tonight, and they've done that all year, so I'm extremely proud of them. Coach, thank you. We'll get some questions for the players. We'll get them out of here. If you have some questions, raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you. Um, here, on the third row. Yes, sir. Jalen and Jaron, just how tough was it kind of adjusting to what Kentucky has personnel-wise? Um, it was pretty tough, you know. Uh, we just couldn't hit, we couldn't make shots. Uh, shot 19% in the first half, and in the second half, we um, pretty much shot 45. What, 45? Yeah, I guess. Um, it's just first half and uh, turning the ball over the first half, it really hurt us. Yeah, I mean, it's tough uh, adjusting to the, all the length at the rim. And then uh, we knew what we had to do. It was just a tough challenge for us uh, getting on the glass. But, uh, yeah, the turnovers killed us, and we just couldn't see anything fall in the first half, so it was tough. Any more questions for the players? If not, well, here we go, third row again. Yes. But result notwithstanding, just what was it like being out there and just kind of experiencing that in, in this setting and in this time of year? Uh, I mean, it was a great experience being out there for March Madness and everything. It was uh, great knowing it was the first time in our school's history. But uh, at the end of the day, I mean, it just stings losing like that. And then uh, being me, Jalen, and Hayden's last game, uh, it just hurts. But it was a great experience, something we'll probably never forget. Going off what Jan said, it was a great experience, uh, something we won't forget. Um, just knowing it was out there with Kentucky, you know, one of the biggest schools in the nation and just out there competing. Any final thoughts for the players? 
Guys, thank you very much. Congratulations on a great run. We'll continue with Coach Golding here. Questions for Coach Golding, if you have any others. Yes, sir. I'm glad you stayed around, man. <laughs> <laughs> just, I mean, kind of off with what the guys said. I mean, not the start you guys would have wanted, but just what did, what was it like watching this group of guys get to experience what they did tonight? Yeah, we couldn't score the basketball, you know. I mean, that was the that was the key. Um, we, I thought we ran some good stuff there for a while. Um, we just couldn't finish and we couldn't score. Um, Honestly, watching tape, I thought we could score it if they didn't switch us one through five. But Coach Cal knows what he's doing. It's obvious. Got really good players, and he's won a ton of games. They switched one through five, and we couldn't see the rim. You know, so um, that that was the frustrating part, I think. But when you look overall uh, at the game, I, I was really proud of our guys and the way they competed in the second half. It'd been really easy to lay down. You know, Kentucky doesn't have his bench where the guys hurt. They're continuing to play the same dudes that that played the whole game. And I thought we did much better in the second half of competing, and we've seen the ball go down. Um, so I was proud of them the way they finished. Listen, these three, these two and Farquhar, these three seniors, they're, they're going to be celebrated at Abilene Christian for the rest of their life. They're the first one to ever do it. You know, there'll be a second, there'll be a third, but they'll never be a first, you know. And so um, we're going to celebrate these guys, and we're going to have a lot of fun celebrating them when we get back to Abilene. So um, it had been a lot. Um, you know, when I looked up there, we had more people in Jacksonville, Florida, at our game than we did back home. I'm telling you, we had more people a night, man, and, and that meant the world to me. I mean, Abilene Christian and March Madness filling up a whole section. Uh, if you knew where our program came from, man, that's really, really awesome. Let's go on the back left. Yes, sir. Coach, nearly $1,000 has been raised on a GoFundMe page for those ripped pants. What are your thoughts on that? Well, this suit's done, you know. Uh, we're going to retire. It wasn't very good luck tonight, man. So, But it's been a heck of a run with it all year, man. So we're going to do something fun with that money. I'm obviously not going to spend that money on a suit, but uh, we're going to find a charity or something out there, and, and, and uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. Next door, yes. Coach, this has been, you know, the best, one of the best seasons ACU's ever had. Um, emotional because I'm going to be leaving you as a senior, and I'm glad you waited till this year to do it. I've been enjoying covering it. But just talk about this season overall and I mean it's you've broken a lot of re lot of records a lot of firsts just talk about the emotions of this season yeah it's the second year we've been eligible for postseason play it, uh, this is just beginning you know this is the beginning man it happened really fast I'm really glad our university can experience this I'm glad our players can it's going to help our program it's going to help recruiting it's going to help our university uh, we've got a lot of exposure from it uh, and we're going to celebrate it but uh, I think it was the best season in ACU history I don't think it was one of the best I think it was the best uh, season in school history, and we're going to celebrate those three seniors in this team like it was the best because they deserve it. Here in the third row, and then we'll go to the back next. Coach, not to, to close the book too quickly on this year, but what, what does this do for you next year and, and down the road to bring back a group of guys that, that got to experience this? Yeah, well, uh, I mean, time will tell with that, but we have a bunch of young kids back. Uh, we're obviously losing three really good seniors, but we got some good young kids back. We got to recruit, you know, losing those two four or five weeks ago, maybe recruiting a little bit different now. Uh, we got to go sign four guys. We thought we were just signing two. Uh, we've built this on high school kids and a culture uh, and really developing, evaluating talent and trying to develop. And so we might have to, you know, get creative in recruiting here through grad transfers, JUCO or something, but we're not going to change who we are. And uh, I think our program is going to move forward just like I think our university is going to move forward. I think, uh, you know, our president and board, they had a plan. They wanted to put ACU on the national map. And for the last 48 hours, we were. And a lot of that is due to the University of Kentucky. We, we owe University of Kentucky a lot. Um, and so for, for being able to have the opportunity to compete with them. And when they talked about Kentucky, they learned about Abilene Christian, and that's what I'm most excited about. we got a university that we're really proud of. Uh, it's good people there. It's, good, it's good school. It's good academics. It's a great town, and I'm glad it was celebrated the last three days. Standing back left. Just again to clarify on the suit. So this is the you're st you're wearing the one that was ripped, and did you get that repaired or or managed your way through it, <laughs> keeping it hidden from everybody? Yeah, I just wore the jacket tonight, man. If you know me well, I don't I don't usually wear the jacket very long, but I kept it on today. Um, but yeah, there is a hole in there. there there's no question about that. And uh, obviously, it got a lot of uh, sound bite, you know. And, and I'm glad it brought some attention to our university. But I want to make sure moving forward that these this team is celebrated. You know, it's not my hole in my pants. It's it's our team and it's our university because they deserve it, man. These guys these guys have been incredible, man. I'm fortunate to coach them. They took me on a hell of a ride, uh, one that I'll never forget the rest of my life. And uh, you know, um, and, and again, on the pants, we'll, we'll do something with it. You know, we'll have a little bit of fun, and hopefully we can raise some money uh, for a charity or something down the road. Any more questions for the coach? 
Coach, congratulations on a great year. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.